Hello, welcome to Star Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today we have Genesis 24 27. I, being in the way, the Lord has led me. So, yep, just trying to stick to what God wants me to do and let Him lead me. And yeah, so, all right, totally hooked. I have my notes there. I'm going to try and stick to the thing. But I have been thinking to include my sewing, I have to rename some of these. So, totally hooked. Or off the machine. I guess off the hook, off the machine. So, um, I went ahead and made RJ the rope bag. Just because I could. And I was playing. I do have strings to, to trim and all that kind of stuff. But pretty much it's done. One of the things I did this time that I am super pleased with is I used coat. Heavy duty coat zippers instead. So they actually break apart instead of putting the stress on the zipper. He has many with busted zippers. Um, so he tries not to and he's very conscious of it because he says that, you know, that's the one thing that goes in him. So I used a heavy duty jacket zipper as I did with his, um, I guess, promised friend. I don't know what to call her yet. She's my daughter in heart. Instead of daughter-in-law, she's my daughter in heart right now. Um, so I did use the same kind of zipper on his bag as I did hers. Again, there's one of those strings. I have the uh, goodness, the handle already on it and stuff. So it is totally done. It needs to be ironed. It needs to be um, made look nice. <laughs> But it is done. So I have that and I did get it done. And I mean, I just did it on lunch hours and just kind of puttered at it. Had fun. Nothing too great. All right. In the baskets, I have tried to, I am working to get I have like six projects going. And I am have decided that that's too many. I want to get some of them done. And so I have singled out a few that I am working diligently. Yes. The other thing that I took and did this week was evaluate where everything is going. Um, RJ and I have decided to delete the Facebook page. It's too much to post my crochet there. And then the, and the straw family farm is not what it was five years ago. Um, five years ago we were posting and him and I both were there and we were working the sheep and the goats. The last of the few that we, house forever uh, have passed away. Um, he's turned it into a horse roping facility. That's what he wants to do as an adult. He's 25. He's doing what he needs to do. So, um, as they say, times change. He is not COVID kind of closes down for open to the public because of RJ's health risks. Um, we told you back when COVID started that it, <sighs> If he got it, he would be one of the ones that was in the hospital because he's got lung damage and he's compromised and all of that stuff from, you know, his health issues. So we don't want to um, put that strain on him anymore. And he's doing it by himself. When there was two of us running the farm, it was much easier. It's hard when it's just one. So I am reevaluating what I'm doing here. Um, this still is a podcast for me. I enjoy the comments. I enjoy the thing, but this tracks who I am, how I've grown and my fiber journey. So yeah, that yes, it's for me, but if I'm doing stuff, I want to make sure that the information is out there that I want to put out. And so I've been thinking about what I really want to put out with the podcast. That is my work. Um, my inspirations, my train of thought. Okay. So you guys know that I have been doing those very maximum uh, hits as a way to get inspiration. Because sometimes you just hit this lull and you go, I've seen every pattern out there. I'm not impressed. I want something new. Um, so with trying those, I've realized I'm not putting out the information that I really think y'all need. So, as I go through each project, first I'm going to start with this one. It is the one that I have made the least amount of progress on. And 
I have been working, but all you see is it getting a little longer. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is the Tunisian, and it's my thing. And I think I've done maybe three or four rows on it, but it is one that I, I want to get done. Okay, so it has grown probably this much. That's it. So, yeah, there's that one. Now, yeah, y'all have seen it. Y'all have done it. But what I want to get more about the yarn, because that's what I'm playing with in these, is trying different yarns and learning. Acrylic, back when I first started with acrylic, isn't something that I enjoyed. And acrylics have gone a long, come a long way. So, if I'm going to put out there to try some acrylics and try stuff new, I am definitely need to put out the information y'all need. So, I'm going to try to start putting out more information about the yarn that I'm using at least once per project. Today, I'm going to put out three because I took the time to do it and hopefully I'll stay on track. So, this one is made with Shawl and a Ball and it's a Lions brand. Okay, you can see that there. Um, it is 5.3 ounces. It's 481 yards. And it's cotton, acrylic, and other. Now, we all know that the other is the sparkle in there because that's that tinsel type stuff. Okay, so it's soft. I like it. The one thing I like is it's a... I don't have to pre-measure and find, make sure I'm getting enough skeins. It's a shawl and a ball. Okay. So definitely we'll have enough to do a head wrap or whatever because that's 481 yards, I think, is what it said. So there's that one. All right. And it is Lion's Brand Shawl and a Ball, 5.3 ounces. 481 yards, cotton, acrylic, and 5% other. So, then I have this one that I've been working diligently on. I have narrowed it down to these three, and I want to get them done. And part of it is I want to get them done before winter. Okay, so, um, this is the Snowflake um, Table Topper one that I was working on. Whoops. I have this much left of my fourth skein. I have four um, skeins still in the bag. And I have just now gotten, I got done with this. And I started someplace. Where's my thing here? Uh, I started the next round. Where is it? Here it is. See if I can do this without pulling stitches out. Um, I started on this round right here. I have switched from double crochet to treble just because I want the height or the length, you know, so you can't really tell, but here is double crochet and it's three, um, rounds and this is treble. And if you notice, it's only two rounds. So does it make it look different? A little bit. Not too bad, you know, kind of thing. Um, I have switched from a double crochet to treble, and up here, this is a V-stitch treble. So the V-stitch mimics the V-stitch that's in the center. And then I will start again with, I'll do the V-stitch around, and then I'll do this, and then I'll start this again. Only I will use the treble stitch so that it's more open and will lay a little bit better. And I have four more skeins of this Nova. Now, the thing with the Nova is it is cotton. And I'll just show you. This is made in the Netherlands. Nothing in here on here is in English. So, <laughs> some of it's in German. I did the best I could. And then I just Googled it. I wasn't too far off. But um, I had to Google to get the uh, yardage and the ounces. Because... I'm not that good. So, that is the Nova, and it is cotton. It's 100% cotton. It's a 1.75 ounce ball for 131 yards a ball. So, um, that's the Nova. It is cotton. 
uh, with cotton, it's hard to say whether it's super soft or super. Cotton is cotton. And all cottons pretty much feel the same to me. I've never seen a cotton that is um, super amazing to me. It all tends to feel about the same. Okay. And the last one that I have been working diligently on is this one, the poorly written patterns. Okay. So I've gotten past that. Don't care. Uh, it works up beautifully once you get it going. I haven't said anything to, I haven't emailed them and said, hey, you know, this is not. But it is working up beautifully now that I've got the hang of the pattern and all of that stuff. Um, again, the shell in shell definition gripes me. But this, so this is a yarn that made me think I should actually put more yarn information out and, and I'm going to every different yarn that I use unless it's hand spun I am going to give y'all information about it because I don't know how am I going to get you to try something new if I don't tell you you know saying oh it's super soft what if you're allergic to wool the first two I've done is really great but if you're allergic to wool and I say, oh, you've got to try this Queensland's collection. Guess what? This is not acrylic. So while I am trying new ones and Mary Max intends to use acrylics and sometimes they put in real wool. So um, this is Queensland collection. This one is 70% wool, 30% bamboo. It is a single ply. It's 3.52 ounces for 290 yards. So it's not bad yardage. It is a single ply though. So, um, yeah, and it's wool and it's bamboo. So that tells you right there that it's really is super soft. Um, it's not one I would have bought myself. Um, it, if you remember, I told you it was super sticky. Um, and I told you then it was wool and bamboo. That's why it was super sticky. So, anyway, I have been working on those three. Um, those are the ones I've been concentrating on. I haven't done anything on the others. So, yeah, I haven't spun or dyed anything because I want to get these done. I still have two pounds of roving back there that I bought mm, last year sometime. So, yeah, I still have that to spin, and it'll get there. Um, we worked some more on the pond, and uh, it, it doesn't look any better. If you haven't followed, if you haven't been down there to see what we started with, it doesn't really look different when you take a picture of it. To me and roommate, it looks great. It doesn't look that different in the pictures, though. Um but it's coming along nicely. I am going to have to stop and go potty. I will be right back. Oh my gosh. I have to pause. Okay, I'm back. That's a, a off kind of thing. So I'm actually recording a little bit later in the day. I <laughs> say that. So normally I record between six and seven in the morning. It's nine in the morning. But today is um, Columbus Day. And I don't have to work. And roommate does. So. That's going to make the in the farmhouse and in RJ's world a little bit longer. Uh, just because um, I don't have to hurry and go to work. Get it done and uploaded and all of that. So let's start with RJ's world. He turned 25. My baby boy. Is 25. I know you guys remember him as a 12 and 13 year old, but yeah, he's 25. So over the course of 12 to 13 years, um, the farm has changed a lot. It really has. And we're still the farm, but he still does. He just does the 
roping and training horses, riding colts, that kind of stuff. Everything has its own time, you know? And so I remember one of the things that has made me think about all this is I'm sitting here remembering. I was worried when he went off to college and I was worried I couldn't do it by myself when he went off to college. And I was worried about him leaving the farm. Well, he didn't leave the farm. I did. <laughs> Things have changed. Directions change. God shows you the way he wants you to go. And I've enjoyed the journey, you know, and it's still my fiber journey is not over. I know that. And I know in retirement, whether people want to hear me say this or not, when I retire and I have my tiny house, which is still there, you know, I haven't gotten back to do much work on it. Um, but the shell is there. I just have to, I have the wood. I was in the process of building the porch. I haven't gotten that done. Um, but yeah, when I get that set the way I want it, that will probably be where I retire to as of my plan right now, not God's plan. God will do what God did, you know, that's where I see myself. I'm going to have a couple of goats. I'm going to have milk goats. I'm going to have maybe two sheep, maybe two goats. And just, that's it. Um, yeah, uh, who knows? And will I breed them? Honestly, probably not. Um, but I will do the milk thing. I love goat's milk. I love the cheese, the cooking with it, um, all that stuff. Yeah, that I will do. And I probably will have multi-purpose and maybe I'll do the sh sheep and milk them. I don't know, but I will have a couple ahead in my retirement. Animals aren't gone from my life. So that being said, um, things just have come around and evolved the way God wanted them to. Maybe not the way I saw them, but the way God wanted them to. So, what else is going on in RJ's world? So, he had his birthday. Yes, I've done a lot of speculating. We do when our kids turn older. Um, we took him out, roommate and I took him out to dinner. Um, took him to Logan's Roadhouse. He had never eaten there before. He really liked it. Uh, the food is good. We had fun. He came back here, hung out with us, uh, just kind of blow and go. Um, then let's see, I decorated. We're moving on to the farmhouse now, because if not, I'll sit here and reminisce about how things have changed. And yeah, you don't want to hear it. You can go back and watch all of our other videos and see how things have changed. Um, so, uh, in the farmhouse, I have decorated for fall. Um, just put up some pumpkins. I am going today to roommates at work. So I've got to do the grocery shopping. I shampooed the carpets this morning. Um, just let it be known. The dogs are actually my roommate wants no responsibilities really. Um, wants people to come and go. So worm and hitch are both mine. And sometimes Worm still has accidents when I'm at work. And well, I own carpet shampooer for this reason. There's two spots that he tends to use. So I, I did those. And and I know I always say I'm a spot clean, but I can't just ever spot clean. You can't spot clean a carpet. Because <laughs> once you get going, what's the point? You get it out, you do it. It's like, just for this one little spot. Oh, I'll just do a little more, a little more. So I did the entire den and the bedrooms. Um, the only thing that I didn't do was the office. Um, I don't think he's had any accidents in there. So yeah, but the dogs are my responsibility. They're mine. Worms over there sleep on the couch. Itch is in there on the floor. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I did that this morning. Dishes, laundry. Um, and when I say I'm doing laundry, uh, I 
am doing rugs and doggy blankets and anything that goes on the floor because I just did the carpets. So, <laughs> anyway, my next project around here is going to be um, the office. Roommate said that I could do whatever I wanted in the office. Roommate doesn't utilize the office. I sit and write out all the bills. Um, I just know which checkbook, mine or roommate's, who pays what. Um, roommate signs checks. Roommate takes care of what I tell roommate needs to be taken care of. But pretty much, I work for a bank. I'm the finance. <laughs> and it's just easier because that way we both know that um, it's done because I sit and do them, bring them out. Roommate and I do our thing with them and then they're done. We both know that the bills for the month are done. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, but I also have my exercise machine in there so it won't fit in my bedroom. My mach sewing machines, it, I was putting them up on the table. I, Roommate has an old sewing machine in there that is driving. It totally works. Um, I know you've seen it on the other. And I have set my machine on top of it. And so I don't take it down all the time. <laughs> yeah. And remember, I have two machines. So I have one stored in my bedroom. And then I have one <laughs> out for me to use. So, yeah. And then, of course, I got my uh, mannequin that I use. And that is sitting there just because the machine is in there. And that's where I do the ironing. Uh, it is what it is. But I was telling roommate, it's so dark in there that it just, the curtains are old and they're dark. And so roommate said that if I wanted to go to consignment shops and find some cheap, uh, like, shears or curtains that would look cute in there roommate would not object oh I kind of get you know this isn't my house the house belongs to roommate um I have my bedroom and I've got touches throughout the house you know my spinning wheels are out my spinning wheels right back here one is over there um I've got my plants my rocks I mean there are parts you look at it and say, mm, that's roommate. And then you have parts, that you're like, mm, that's Christy. And so we have our own little parts and neither one of us had really claimed the office. It was just a space where we sat and had the roll top desk and, and we didn't ever utilize it. So now we're utilizing it or I'm utilizing it and it's okay with roommate. So <laughs> that's a good thing, but I do have to go and try and find some shears so that it'll brighten it up um it just is lost in light this house has no good light um it's a very i mean you can see look the hallway doesn't even have a light and at the end of that hallway is my bedroom and my bathroom and yeah the hot water heater Speaking of that, this week I woke up today and I'm trying to clean. And the reason it's taking me longer to clean is that we have no water pressure. They said that they have a leak someplace and they're working on it. So, yeah. All right. I think that is about it. Because like I said, I could sit here on this podcast of RJ's 25th birthday and reminisce about how things have changed and how the direction God has taken us, you know, but I'm not going to. I'm going to start and try and concentrate on the crochet and the yarns and hopefully inspire someone with the yarns to do something, to try something. I'm still going to do the pond. Once we get that one willow out, that's it. The work on the pond is done. So until that big stump is gone, it's never going to look different. <laughs> I have hauled and hauled and there's like this big 10 foot pile out there. Yeah, we're going to burn that. Um, RJ and Macy are planning on coming down the 
second weekend in November. RJ said, if it if the burn ban has lifted by then and it has rained enough, he says, I'll help you burn them. So it, we don't know that the burn ban is going to be reached by then, but we'll see. Um, like I said, I've got a little decorating done. I've got different stuff going on, but no major repairs in the house because, and here's the thing guys, it comes down to money. Um, I work on the house and roommate works on the house. When we have the money, we're not going in debt for the house. The back door, we bought that. Um, roommate actually decided that roommate would pay for it. Um, the paint in here and, and the stripping and all that, I paid for that one. Um, the uh, kitchen area, we didn't really have, well, we had the polyurethane. I think we split that in half. I think we split that. Um, but unless we have extra money to do small projects around here, we're not going in debt for the house. It is what it is. So that's why the projects slow down is because the money slows down. And right now I am concentrating on Christmas and I want my kids to have a nice Christmas, but not overbearing. So I take 20 or $30 each paycheck and I'm putting it to Christmas. Um, I've got my daughter a bag made. Uh, I've made bags last year. I worked all year long and made ponchos and I, everybody got something crocheted. That that's all there was to it. Everybody got something crocheted. Um, so yeah, this year, I think everybody's getting something sewn. Yeah. Everybody's getting something sewn. The four kids, uh, roommate. I don't know what we're going to do. Um, we've talked and they're just, if we need something, we just make sure that we have it. If we don't need something, then we just don't need it. So please don't give it to us. We're just older now. You know, we don't need a bunch of cluttery stuff around. Um, the worst cluttery is that we have around is my plants and my rocks. Other than that, yeah, no clutter. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyway, all right. Like I said, I'm going to try and have one of these lovely sheets for every um, yarn that I do. Uh, just what it is. And then give my critique. So the Nova is the cotton 1.5 ounce balls, 131 yards. Cotton is cotton. I don't ever feel a bit. Ball in a shawl. It's soft. It's nice. Um, it is cotton, acrylic, and other. Uh, 481. I get those uh, shawls in a ball and, and, you know, shawl in a cake or whatever they are. Uh, that one's shawl in a ball, but there's others out there. Because of the yardage, I know I can do a, a decent sized wrap with the yardage. Um, the Queensland, I've never used it before. It is a 70% wool, 30% bamboo, 3.52 ounces, 290 yards, which is, you know, but it is a single ply. So, and it is super, super soft. It is wool and bamboo. So, kind of speaks for itself. Hopefully next week, I'll have a little bit more done on these and actually be showing some progress. This one I am pushing to get done uh, because I want to wear it to work. <laughs> That's terrible. But I'm getting, and I am super close. Um, you work until you get 128 double crochets across. And I think I'm at 90, 90 or 92. So I'm getting there. It, it's only got a few more passes and we'll go good with that but all right trying to get more information about the yarns and the crafts that I do into the podcast not necessarily less about the house just more informational we'll see how it goes this is kind of my diary for the week anyway so I have people that skip the personal part, people that skip the yarn part. I don't care. 
you guys make it what you want because if you see it evolving, I'm trying to make it what I want. So hopefully we can do that together. All right. I'm off here. You guys, thanks for watching. God bless. Thank you for sending all the good mojo to RJ. He's doing all right. Um, Coop's doing better. We're getting there. You guys have a great week, and I will see you next time. Bye.